is, the cloth is recycled. Her island is very environmentally conscious. It represents many cultures coming together. Yeah, I think that's great. I mean, that they could take just some trash and turn it into treasure. This is just it's amazing. Absolutely. In Mexico, and there's lots of it. The back is a representative of the different aspects of the Mexican culture. Wow, I mean, all I can say is wow, I'm speechless. That oh, is breathtaking. Absolutely beautiful. You can really see all the hard work and the time and the energy that goes into these costumes. I think a lot of pe peacocks died to make that, but it was well worth it. It is a formal attire in her country. I like it. I think this is maybe what a flight attendant would wear on Montenegro Airlines, but much hotter and much fancier. And here she comes. Donna is wearing a costume that represents, okay, here it goes, the Belvicha plant. It's a plant found in her country. Oh, yeah, Belvicha. Not to be confused with Belvita. At all. <laughs> Beautiful. Gorgeous. Up next we have Netherlands. Netherlands costume is designed by an up-and-coming designer from Venezuela. He's from Venezuela. And this is of course made in the mosaic style. Yes, it's inspired by tiles which are famous in the Netherlands. And this is not a traditional na national costume. It's very modern compared to the ones that have been used in the past. And as you can tell, it's very windy in here. <laughs> Up next, we have New Zealand. Tally's costume represents the fern, her country's national plant. Crystals around the head and the neck area. Again, yeah, matches are set, it's very festive, and uh, those are some big ferns sticking out the top. Coming up next, we have Nicaragua. wearing a traditional Nicaraguan costume. The cape is jeweled. It represents virgins giving jewelry as an offering. There is nothing traditional about this. This is amazing. <laughs> I can see myself in it. Beautiful. Coming up next we have Nigeria. Also a traditional costume, it's usually worn by maidens during festivals, marriages, carnivals, extension. And the colors are lemon, green, and yellow. And look at those moves. I wonder if that's a traditional Nigerian dance. Absolutely. It sounds pretty when she walks, too. It does. Up next is Norway. costume is called the Buna, an old style costume worn in Norway hundreds of years ago. It's handmade and of course it's purple, black and white and they are her favorite colors. A boo not. A boo not. It's not a boo not. We're like boo ya. I like it. with red jewels. The red represents passion and green is for nature. It's a big costume, but it was easy to pack. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I think that is very hard to pack. It is not a good one to be a peacock, I will tell you that, but it was well worth it again. This is, this is amazing. Again, speechless. I can see why that won the contest. Elegant and has a different look from the usual Paraguay costumes. Again, a very nice big feathery headdress. We've been seeing a few of those, and this is one of the best. Love it. And again, it kind of has that Christmas feel to it, too. 
agree, very festive. Okay guys, before we continue, uh, all right, here comes Peru. Nicole is wearing a costume that represents the mountain region of Peru. There are two major regions, mountains and jungles. She is from the jungle area. Visit Puno, the mountain region that inspired this costume. I mean, wow, she look, again looks very regal. I mean, I would have think this, I, I would have thought this was inspired by kings. I queens. would imagine this to be very heavy. It's exquisite to see her walk in it. Look at those, look at those boots in that train. Up next we have Philippines! <laughs> She has a beautiful crown on as well. It's very similar to the old traditional Miss Universe crown. The Diamond Nexus crown. Uh, traditional gown made from Polish lace. It's a beige color. The dress is designed to flatter her figure, and the head wreath is made of wheat and flowers. Well, it is definitely flattering her figure. I would say that. I love how all the girls take different elements of their homelands and include them into the costume. It's really fun. Coming up next, we have Puerto Rico. Bodine is wearing a garment that represents the Puerto Rican We have Romania. Delia's costume honors a famous Romanian sculptor. His face is on the dress train. It's meant to look like an infinite column. It's a nude costume. I like, I like when they have artwork on the inside of their, with their wings. It's a nude costume. She wasn't kidding. It's an infinite column. Beautiful. Up next we have Russia. Elizaveta's costume was made by a famous Russian designer who she worked for as a model. It's a Russian style dress, handmade, and she says lots of work went into it. I think you can tell by all the beading and the jewels. Absolutely. Very Victorian. Yeah. Serbia's costume is a traditional Serbian outfit. You might see people dress this way in the old days if they needed some formal attire. And it's another white costume. It seems to be the theme. It seems a lot of white and gold. A lot of traditional white and gold. We have Singapore! Lin Tan of Singapore. Her costume is a mix of traditional Chinese, Indian, and Malaysian. Uh, a, Singapore is a multinational society. The headpiece is made of roses and orchids. Orchids are the national flower, and roses represent the garden city. Diamonds also represent prosperity. I, I, I didn't realize Malaysia was so multi multinational. Can I? Great. Yeah, I'm getting some fun facts here too. <laughs> Up next we have Slovak Republic. Ubica's costume is a long traditional dress, oh. blue and white collar, national colors along with red, and there's a red zipper in the back. There absolutely is. 
like these dance moves. She's getting into the music. We have South Africa. South Africa Melinda Vance costume represents all the cultures and races of South Africa. The golden scepter represents the mineral wealth of her country, where you'll find gold, platinum, diamonds, and coal. And the crown on her head equals the coat of arms, which means divided people unite. She is a true living golden goddess. Fantastic. A lot of meaning.